Hey Pantry, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be going on a tropical vacation. But before we get started, I do stream on Twitch Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 1 p.m. PST. If you would like to see more videos like these, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Finally, if you want me to tour your island, I have a form in the description down below. Now, sunscreen, check. Beach ball, check. Pina coladas, let's go. This island was once untouched by human hands. When a traveling beach lover came across it, she decided to build a tropical resort within the island while keeping it lush and overgrown with beautiful palm trees. She calls it Samana Bay. Welcome to Samana Bay. She's already here just waiting for us. I'm so excited, guys. Before we get started, though, let's go ahead and let's take a look at her map and see what's going on here. You can already see how well organized this island is. You can obviously tell that there's purposeful pathing that's on there. And look how the houses, what I love about most of these islands are that the houses are spread across the island, right? And so we're able to explore the rest of the island and kind of just see the whole island for what it is. It looks really good. Let's go ahead and look at her wonderful villagers. So she looks like she has Cleo, uh, male. I think that's how you say her name, Mael. Oh my gosh, I actually never seen this villager before. Uh, Cody. Oh my gosh, Molly is absolutely adorable. Drake, uh, Flora, uh, Eric. Uh, Eric's a fan favorite, and uh, Patty and O'Hare. And right off the bat here, I don't know if it's purposeful, but she has a, quite a few of uh, these duck villagers, and obviously uh, Flora. Um, kind of just matches with her overall theme, which her whole inspiration is this tropical theme, the Dominican Republic. And so far, I'm already impressed on how beautiful everything is. Like, just right off the bat, you just see the beautiful flowers. It's a five-star island as well, because you see the uh, Lily of the Valleys. And oh my gosh, guys. Just, <laughs> so just, the, just the waterfalls, all the tropical trees. Oh my god. I'm so stoked. And here she is. This is Ashley. Look at this. This is so pretty. Welcome. Oh my goodness. So she uh, she told me she was going to have some outfits for me. I'm actually very, uh, very excited to see what she has going for us here. Let's see here. Botanical tea. I think this is the outfit right there. Oh, tropical hat. You can already see that she has that tropical vibe clothing going on already. All right, let's just see what we have. Ooh, how colorful. Colorful floral. Oh my god, I love that t-shirt, dude. That looks so good. And here we go. <laughs> oh my god, we look the part. I'm so excited. All right, go ahead and lead us uh, around, hun. Wow. Just the use of palm trees. If you guys didn't know, you could plant palm trees on your island if you have sand underneath it. And I already love that little pathway and the use of the sand pathing across the whole island. Wow, look at this. And the flowers are just so tropically colored. I don't know if that's a description, but oh, look at those seashells. Wow, I just want to lay here. Hello. <laughs> that flamingo is just perfect. Oh my gosh. And the I can't imagine how beautiful this looks like at night too, especially with the candles. This is so pretty. I'm so stoked. Again, the pathing and also the scenery. You just get to see all the stuff that she laid out detaily, detaily, all detailed, you know. So, oh, I love the use of the head just there, just to kind of separate everything in that well. Oh my gosh. Oh, that arch in the background there. I can't wait to see what's back there, guys. Oh, hi, little grasshopper. Oh my gosh, oh. The, the little signs, perfect use of it. Just to kind of direct us to where we're going. And oh my gosh, this little campsite. And the little, I don't know if it's, you can see the little tiny little detail, but there's a, there's a little bit of flower border on those sands. Such a nice little touch. I feel like I'm on a tropical vacation right now. Are you guys? Like, this is so good. So I did actually ask Ashley a couple questions uh, regarding her island. First question is, 
How much time did you spend on your island? She said, So far, I spent over 335 hours playing and designing my island. A follow up question I asked her was, What is the theme of your island and what was your inspiration? My island is a tropical beach theme with lots of lush and vibrant plants. In real life, I travel frequently to the Dominican Republic. I will also be married in the Dominican Republic next May, which was supposed to be this May, but obviously had to be rescheduled due to the pandemic. So, my island reminds me a lot of that beautiful part of the world, and it means a lot to me. I wonder what's down there at the beach. Oh, no, nice little cute little sitting area again. What's so great about it so far is everywhere you go, there seems to be like just a little tiny little sitting area to kind of just enjoy the scenery, enjoy the breeze, enjoy <laughs> enjoy the enjoy the island, you know? Alright, let's see what's up here. I love the use of the candles on top of the log stumps. What? Wow. You can I I don't know if you can feel it, but you can feel the amazing breeze. If you, I just I'm just having shivers down my down my spine right now just because just think about laying here. Oh wow, I love the use of the path, the sand path thing for the uh, the houses here. It looks so good. And the hedges and the bushes just to separate uh, and guide people on where to go. Oh my gosh. The coconuts! Why does everyone have the coconuts? I want the coconuts so bad. This is so great. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, we can sit next to each other. Hey! Oh my gosh. Just look how beautiful this is. Are you feeling inspired? Because, oh my gosh, I want to recreate this. Oh, the detail. Oh, those little umbrellas. Wait, what are those? I've never seen... I didn't know you could lay umbrellas like that. Such a great way to use space because I've never seen like this horizontal or vertical pathway up the beach used like this before. This is very neat, nicely done. And this little, oh gosh, this forced perspective with the, uh, with the lighthouse here. Oh my gosh, so many places to take pictures. I just don't know what to do. This is just so good. Wow. This is absolutely beautiful. Just a nice little lookout to the ocean here. Oh, well, that wave just hit perfectly. And then I love the use of the speakers to kind of just give off that island vibe. This is so neat. Take me on this vacation. Is there a room here on the island so I can move in? Who's moving out? <laughs> you know what's so great about this time of day visiting is that it is so breezy. It really makes you feel like you're on a tropical island. Oh, this is that archway we were talking about. All those wonderfully, wonderfully placed waterfalls. And the well-placed flowers on top of those uh, waterfalls look so great. And then you come out here and you just see this little lounge area. Yet again, so many lounge areas to kind of just hang out and just enjoy the ambient noises and this is amazing. Okay, I don't see too many wooden bridges in my tours, but anytime that I see one, it's just used to perfection. Like this is, oh, this leads up to that private island. What? <laughs> Where's my clapping email? This is so good. Red has his own little private beach here. I would honestly be here all the time, Red, if I were you. Oh, this diagonal cross bridge with that waterfall in the back there. Oh wow, I can already tell we're gonna be so astonished by this. I, I need to be a good tour tourist, I can't just wander off. Oh gosh. Can you imagine the hours it took to place every single coconut tree? I keep saying palm tree, but I, I guess they're palm trees. But oh my gosh. <laughs> the turtle! I love tortoises, they're so cute! Look how, oh my gosh, the use of the fences. I might steal this idea to be honest. This is so good. I just want to look at this. Look how beautifully placed these waterfalls are. Like, and they're so pretty the way that she terraformed it. And all these little QR flowers. Wow, 
I need to, I personally want to ask where she uh where she got those because I want them on my island. Oh, look at this, another beautiful waterfall. I know waterfalls can be overdone, but the fact that she's used them so sparingly and so uh, well placed and sparsely across her island just really helps with the overall vibe. Oh my gosh, man. So pretty. The double ramps here to up to uh, whatever that spot is up there. I'm excited. Oh, she's showing us. Okay. And again, such such a amazing... She's really thought of every situation where you would want to sit down and enjoy the breeze and Again, with that radio and the tropical vibe kind of music. This is amazing. Good work. This is so great, Ashley. Uh, great use of space here, too, because you can easily block off this area, but you can, uh, you can absolutely walk around here and just enjoy the flowers and listen to the ambient noise of the waterfall. Oh, I didn't know you could actually color your park bench. Uh, an off-white like that. Oh my god, it's the little duck. He's just so perfect. Look at him, he's so cute. On oh, the hedges to kind of just separate the, the houses. Um, they're all, this little resonant area is just so perfect. Oh, and this is leading us to the museum. Look at that, look at that coconut tree and that waterfall. And there's the tortoise. There's the tortoise. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know. Just a simple thing with this bench, too. It's just so great. Oh, you can hop over here. This is so cool. What? Oh, look at these seashells leading up to this path. Are those flowers? They look like they look like the seed weeds on a beach. You know, those it kind of just falls onto the um Kind of rolls up in the on the beach every now and then. That's such a good use of it. She plucked it also, so it won't it won't grow. This is so fabulous. Coconut Whisper Spa. <gasps> oh, how cute! It's a little spa area, a little private spa area. Yo, that onsen though. Let's, I'm just, I'm going to sleep here. I, this, this might be the end of the video. <laughs> this is so cute. Oh, there's so, oh, I wonder if she purposely didn't pick up that bottle. Sometimes I feel like people purposely don't do that just for the aesthetics. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. <gasps> it's Gulliver! Oh my gosh, what a perfect way to uh, have this tour guide, tour video. To have Gulliver on her island on the same day. Wow, just look at this. Is this her house? This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, guys. Finally, I asked her if she had anything that she would like to say to you guys and how to motivate you to start working on your island. She said, create your island based on things you love in real life and or areas you've seen in different parts of the world and put your unique spin on it. As well, take lots of inspiration from screenshots that other Animal Crossing fans have shared. There's just so much creativity that you can get inspired from. If you're happy with the area that you've created, then you'll be more excited to take screenshots and share them with this awesome community. All right, oh wow. I think that's it guys. I think that might be the tour, I, I think so. Oh my gosh, that was so beautiful. Ashley, Ashley, you should honestly a round of applause for Ashley because this is so good, guys. And that ends our wonderful tropical vacation. I do hope you enjoyed going through the island tour with me, guys. If you want to see more of Ashley's island, I will go ahead and link her social medias down below. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit that bell icon too to get notified when I upload a new video. Also, if you want to join me and our wholesome community on Twitch, I do stream every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 1pm PST. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description down below. I love you Pantry, and I'll see you next time.